Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and this video is sponsored by Premier Yarns. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little um, dishcloth and it uses the Premier Home Cotton Yarn. And this yarn is really cool because it has 15% polyester in it and the rest of it, 85%, is the cotton. So what that does is it makes your projects last longer because of the polyester and especially for dish towels, it makes them dry quicker. So it's, it's amazing and it feels like 100% cotton when you're working with it. And this design starts from the top and you make like a little buttonhole on the third row and then you just crochet along and then you um, increase a lot in these rows and then you just keep going even in this really simple stitch is just a single crochet and chain one. And then um, the colors that you can use, this is three different colors uh, where there's color changes. But in the video, I show you how to make it with just one um, solid color. So these are a lot of the colors that are available in home cotton. And the solids have um, 80 grams per ball, which is equivalent to 140 yards or 128 meters. And the multicolors are 105 yards, and that is a 60 gram ball. And um, the gauge is an eye hook for crochet and US 8 needles for knitting. And um, this towel is, let me see, 14 inches long and 10 inches wide. And um, the skill level is easy. And for this project, I used a J hook. And then you're also going to need a yarn needle and a one inch button for hanging this. And so this is really easy. You just loop this hanger over the, like the bar on your oven and um, then just button it. So it's really easy. And then you can just pop it in the washer when it needs washing. So I'm going to go to a close up right now and I'm going to show you how to make this dish towel and the links to everything are listed below and I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Here's a close up of the kitchen towel that we're going to make today and this sample was done in three different colors with color changes every two rows and I'm going to work my sample up in solid. So um, to start out we'll be starting on this little skinny strip here and on row three we'll be creating an open hole for a buttonhole and then you keep going down and right here you increase quite a bit and then once you get out to the width you just keep going even till you finish the dishcloth. So the recommended hook is a J and I crochet really loose so I'm going to use an I. And gauge isn't super important on this project. So to get started, it says to chain eight, which I've done here. And then it says to half double crochet in the third chain from hook. So yarn over in the third chain from hook is one, two, and three. So I need to go right in there. And then through all three. And then it says to half double crochet in each of next five chains. So I'm going to do a half double crochet in each remaining chain. And then like that. So then I'm going to have a total of six half double crochets. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I won't be counting the um, skip chain as a stitch. So it's just the half double crochets that are counting here. So now it says to chain two and turn and half double crochet in each half double crochet across. So typically with half double crochet stitches you skip the first stitch like right here you don't work into that with your chain but really what I like to do is to just chain one or two at the beginning and then ignore that and work the half double crochet in that stitch so I won't count this as a stitch it just comes out more even 
So that's the way I'm going to have you do it. So you half double crochet in each, half double crochet across, and you're not going to do anything in that turning chain there or in those in that skip chain here. So now if you just count your half double crochet stitches, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And now this is for the the buttonhole. So I'm just going to chain one here. You could chain two if you want. And I'm going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch and the next stitch. And then I'm going to chain two. And this is for the buttonhole. Right here, I'm going to skip these two. And I'm going to work a half double crochet in the last two. Like that. So that's the end of row three. That's what yours should look like. And then I'm going to chain one turn. And you turn like the page of a book like that. And you want to half double crochet in the first two half double crochets. Like that. And then it says to work two half double crochets in the chain two space. Actually, that was a chain one. Let me go back here. It'll be an easy fix. Okay, instead of chain two, it was just chain one and skip two. So go back here and then you work your two half double crochets. So you're skipping two stitches, but you're only working a chain one right here. And then you chain one and turn. And then you half double crochet in the first one, next one, two half double crochets in the chain one space, because you want to get back on the a row of six stitches. There. So that's row four, and that looks better. It's a smaller hole there. The chain two looked way too big. So on row five, you chain two, turn, and you half double crochet in each stitch across. So I'm just doing a chain one turn and I'm working a half double crochet in that first stitch. All right, so now you just repeat that last row, which is one, two, three, four, five. That was row five that I just did. You repeat that ten more times. So you just half chain one turn, half double crochet across until you have 15 rows. And I'll go work on that and I'll come back on camera and we'll start increasing for the body of the um, towel. I have my 15 rows for my hanging loop done and now I'm going to start the first increase row. So to increase it says to chain two and then you would turn and then work two half double crochets in every half double crochet across. So in this one I'm just going to go ahead and work the two in here and then when I come back here I'm going to ignore the turning chain. Okay, wait a minute. Gotta finish that one and go on this one. Okay, so that's the first increase row, and now I have 12 half double crochet stitches. And then it says increase row two, chain two, 
and it says to work two half double crochets in each one across. So now I'm going to double my 12 to 24 half double crochet stitches. So when I get down near the end, I'm going to ignore my chain 2 turning chain and just work in that first half double crochet. So now I have 24 half double crochet stitches. So now in the next increase row, chain 2 turn, it says 2 half double crochets in next stitch and then half double crochet in each of next 2. And you do that all the way across. So you do two half double crochets for an increase and then half and then half and then you continue doing that all the way across. That's your repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and I'll be back on camera to show you the rest of this. So I have my last increase row completed and now I'm going to do what's called a setup row. And to do that row you need to make sure that you have 32 half double crochets on your third increase row. So to do the next row I chain two and turn and then I skip this sing, uh, half double crochet and then I single crochet, half, no yeah single crochet in the next one. So I chain one skip the next one and single crochet in the next one. Then chain one, skip this one and single crochet in this one. Chain one, skip and single in here all the way across the same thing. So at the end you um, single crochet in the last half double crochet and I'm not working in the turning chain there. So then you chain two and turn and this row I'm going to show you right now is the same all the way down the whole length of your dishcloth. So now you chain two turn and you single crochet in the chain one space which is right here chain one and single crochet in the chain one space all the way across this has always been one of my favorite stitches it's so simple so all it is is single crochet in the chain one space and chain one Oh, forgot to chain one, didn't I? You know I didn't. It's there. And you want to chain one kind of loosely. You don't want to do it real tight. So in the end you're going to be uh, single crocheting in the chain 2 space of the previous row and then you just chain 2 and turn 
and then you skip the first single crochet and go back to working a single crochet and chain one in each chain one space across. And that is it. So you just continue if you want to do a solid color or if you want to do the multicolored one, all the changes for the stripes are in the um, uh, directions. But what I want to show you right here is when you want to join a new color on, you work the last single crochet stitch till you have two loops on the hook. And instead of drawing through with that color, you just put a... I just have a random new color here. You would take the new color and make a slip knot like this and leave a long end on it. And you would bring the new color through the last two loops of your stitch like this. And then you would continue on with your new color. And this is done in multiples of two rows. So you could crochet down here and come back and then change the next color and keep coming back because you're always going to be changing colors on the same side. So anyway, that's how you make the kitchen towel using Premier's home cotton yarn. And um, I'd love to see pictures of your projects on Facebook, on Maggie's Crochet Facebook or Premier Yarns uh, Facebook page. And I hope that you subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for watching.